you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Check that out. Um, I'm certainly going to be making my predictions on uh, on stream, so I'm excited for that. Um, now, off-season roundup. Let's talk about what has happened over the past week or so, um, and let's just kick it off with a big one. Squishy, obviously, no longer with Rule 1 as they have closed the doors and shut down the operation. Cloud9 no longer has their team. They drop the duo of Lion Blaze and uh, Percy. And the two reunite. Squishy is back with That's Cloud9 right. as a content creator and co-owner. Squishy Muffins, co-owner of Cloud9. What do we make of that? I mean, it's great to see for Rocket League in general. Because it's not the biggest esports out there, right? Especially not outside of France. Um, but it, it it says something that an organization like Cloud Nine, you know, wants to work together with a Rocket League figurehead like Squishy Muffins, and and actually, you know, try to make things work. Because it's not just the ownership; it's not just the content creation. Uh, in uh, comments on Reddit, Cloud Nine also uh, said that. Swishy will be involved, or is involved actually already, with picking the new Cloud9 Rocket League roster for, for the next season, I, I suppose. Wow. I don't think they're going to pick up a team anytime really soon. That doesn't really make sense to me, but weirder things have happened in esports. Yeah. Um, so when that will happen, I have no idea. I have no links to share there as well. But... Uh, you know, that Squishy gets a role in, in helping them create a new team or, or picking up a, a roster. That's that's lovely to see as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially because he is still a high-level player. You know, he'll be running into those guys in ranked, and he's got plenty of you know, connections yeah, with all the players seems. to know who's active and, and who's doing well and who's on the grind and who's hungry. So I think that is going to be uh, very helpful for Cloud9. I think that kind of sentiment where you have someone that is heavily integrated into the competitive space consult uh, with your top brass about what players and what teams may actually be an attractive um, selection for you. I think that is a great idea. And I think a few orgs in the past may would have benefited from taking those extra steps before snagging, you know, maybe a big name that uh, then it ended up panning out. So Oh, you're talking about Turrupol, so on Dark Zero. I did not say any names. Oh, or okay, any it teams. is. Oh, well, then I did. <laughs> you instead. But uh, what I don't, I don't know anything about the co-ownership, of course. Like, sure. I don't know what to make of that because we don't know how big right. of a stake like that ownership actually is, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's cool that it happens. It is it's cool, cool that there's there's some collaboration at, at the very least. Um, and I mean, it's clear that the organization has always been very close to Squishy's heart because yeah. it's it's, the, it's his organization. I mean, they're linked forever. Mm -hmm. So now they are also contractually linked. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what it actually entails in terms of the business for for the organization or for yeah. himself. I mean, after his career so far, I'm not saying it's over as a content creator, as a player, there's some money going around there. So oh, yeah. It, it helps to have someone like him uh, on your side, not exactly as an investor, but as someone who you know can deal with with some of these you know ownership stakes mm -hmm. and, and trying to invest in in the business as a whole, not just like pouring in money. But yeah, it, it's it's a. Uh, I think it's I only think it's, positive, but I think it's very cool that Rocket League esports was so iconic and pivotal in that org's history. Yeah. That you know that moment and that team and that signing meant so much to the org and so much history and legacy there that and, and of course the world championship win that now it's come full circle and and he's back um, you know on the staff side as well. I think yeah. that is super cool for um, their org, but also for Rocket League esports. Yeah, and I, I feel like organizations really recognize the power of having a a, a big name as a yeah. content creator on yeah. your side. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, of course, you have the French organizations that we kept talking about, and plus Moist Esports, which have the content creator as an owner, which is a very special case. But if you don't have that, like Cloud9, I mean, I guess 
what's his name Etienne from uh, from Cloud9 the owner is is a pretty mm -hmm. well known figure but he's not a content creator yeah. or anything yeah. um and you had Cloud9 has had content creators like this in the past Jack that's it Jack Etienne Etienne is his last name um you've you've had content creators like this on Cloud9 before like Tens from Valorant uh well from Counter Strike and then into Valorant and he was basically benched on his team for a while. He was good enough to play, and he is playing again. Uh, but he couldn't find a team, or he, his contract couldn't get bought out. So he was just grinding the content creation on Cloud9. So they know what, it, what it's like to have a content creator that size uh, on your team. Yeah. And I mean, right now, it's Tarek who won the Counter-Strike Major with Cloud9, actually. It all comes back to Cloud9. They're just one of the, the staple North American organizations. Yeah and have been for years. He is now a content creator for Sentinels, mm -hmm. and his his watch party of the Valorant esports streams is literally like twice as large sometimes as yeah. the official stream. Yeah. It's insane. This is about 200K viewers just on the co-stream. Yeah. So these organizations know what it's like to have a content creator on your side. And I mean, Cloud9 in particular is a great fit for mm -hmm. someone like Squishy. Yeah, absolutely. That's not not all that happened this past week. We also had the announcement of um, what used to be known as Gamers 8 is now rebranded as EWC or Esports World Cup. We're just going to call it EWC. Um, they announced some community tournaments, and we had one happen in SAM over this past weekend. Uh, there was a couple, a couple groups, so they had a group stage into the playoff bracket. Um, you know, you had Ninjas in Pajamas, uh, Loud, Team Secret and Furia, those were your, your top four. Um, a couple of good semifinal matches. Furia took down Ninjas in Pajamas 4-2. Uh, to two. Team Secret took down Loud 4-3. to three. And then Furia ended up winning the event 4-1. Uh, so you've got that occurring. There's a, a, a Mina uh, this coming weekend, EWC Community Cup. And then I think the next two weekends are North America and Europe. So you've got some more events happening. And if I might add, you might. There was a Hootie Hoo 2v2 tournament this was past weekend. There sure Whoa. was. We had an NA 2v2 event. Uh, big shout out to Thrustmaster eSwap Pro Controllers for, for uh, sponsoring the channel and, and making that stuff possible. But we had a tournament this past weekend. Chronic and First Killer participated, and they swept the entire thing. I mean, they just... <laughs> It just wasn't that, that is a hell of a team. <laughs> they were disgusting, man. We got to the grand finals, and First Killer was seriously just... Bro, he was in free play. I mean, he yeah, was just yeah. unreal, dude. He was so, so... I mean, it's 2v2. You get so much more time yeah. on the ball. And yeah. then a player like First Killer, I mean, they're all these players are grinding twos yeah. all the time. That's all they do in ranked. So when you actually give them a good teammate and a good competitive you know, environment to actually yeah. play in, yeah, it is just free play for them. Yeah. They can do it with their eyes closed. So we had that, and then next weekend, as I said, uh, the you've got the Mina Community Cup, but I've also got a second 2v2 tournament I'm going to be running on the EU servers. Ooh. We've got um, some exciting teams signed up. I'll give you one. Drolly is playing with Daniel. Uh, Daniel over be, on EU ping. He, no, he's going to be he's going to be playing high ping. Um, that was the first question I asked. I didn't know if they were boot camping or something was going on, but he's going to be play, he's going to be at home playing high ping. But we will have the the duo of Drolly Daniel playing. I've got wow. most of our teams um, figured out. I got to lock in two or three more, and then I'll, I'll announce those teams as well. But um, I'm excited to do these. Uh, I, I hope that you know the folks that get to watch. I hope they enjoy them because uh, just like Shift Summer League or this EWC Community Cup, ultimately all we're looking to do is provide some good content, high level gameplay for uh, for the folks to watch in the downtime. Yeah, and then we have kind of last minutes as a roster move coming in, uh, and I mean Nubo coming in for Twisted Minds. Yeah, even though this player is still playing the world championships with anything. Yeah, X for one. Yep, and, and I want to do this too because someone asked this in my Discord when they saw that. Does that mean that Nupo can't play the world championship? The answer is no. RLCS doesn't really consider what a player is signed to. They don't. Really, RLCS rules doesn't care about your organization. They care about. The three players that played in the second split are going to be the three players playing at Worlds. So yep. uh, new the players have the spots, and his two teammates are going to be playing. And since anything is not a, um, it's not an organization, it's just a team name. There's not any conflict whatsoever. 
So, you know, he won't be, you know, it's not going to be Twisted Minds Nupo. It will be anything Nupo, but yeah, he will get to play the World Championship, and then from there forward, he will be rocking with his, his new roster on Twisted Minds. Yeah, uh, it's an interesting development getting picked up so quickly after yeah. basically getting dropped and taking the entire organization down with him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, things happen differently around the world. Um, from Twisted Minds to picking up like right now is maybe a little bit of a weird move. On the other hand, uh, Saudi Arabia has their own competitions going on quite regularly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the next uh, Saudi E-League or equivalent of that is that is coming up. Uh, but I can imagine that they just wanted to get him. If they were planning to sign him anyway, they might as well snatch right. him up before someone else does. Yep. Uh, so yeah, there is... Uh, oh yeah, the Saudi E-League Major 3 is at the start of August. So that, that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and then they're also going to compete in the AWC uh, MENA Community Cup. So yeah. there you go. And I have to issue an apology to the region of Oceania. Because okay. last week, we did not cover this one, which is that Finn retired oh. from Rocket League. That mm. is Finn, not the Finn that works as a statistician and, and writer on Shift Early .gg, although this Finn did indeed write the retirement article for Shift Early .gg about yeah. Finn retiring. He was also the one interviewing Finn at London Major, which was a lovely event. Oh, yeah. um, but I mean, he was just in time with that interview because it's, he's done now. He's done. He's just 21 years old. Um, but, uh, you know, some people just, uh, have other things going on in their life and uh, absolutely that's very fair. All right. So well, there there's go. a, there's a quick roundup of the recent events over the last week or so. We'll try to do that some more throughout the off season, just to keep you guys up to date with everything that's going on. Thank you for watching this segment of the shift cast. Again, you can catch the full episode here on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching.